behind the bust of a massive illegal vape operation. This story captured the nation. A mother, two sons, and a family friend have now been charged. Charles Benson takes us back to the first tip that unraveled the elaborate plot. The four people now charged in this case include the Huffines brothers and their mother. But getting to Tyler Huffines, the alleged ringleader, required a little luck, long hours, and a learning curve for a skilled Waukesha police detective. It all started with concerned parents of a high school student walking through the front door of the Waukesha Police Department this summer. I could tell he was concerned. He wasn't sure what uh, his high school student was up to. Neither was Officer Aaron De La Rosa, who was working second shift. The parents handed over a bunch of colorful, mysterious looking packages and cash. I just knew it wasn't normal for a high school student to have that amount of cash on them with suspicious cartridges. Suspicious enough for De La Rosa to take the parents' information to Waukesha detective Justin Rowe, who works undercover. As a member of the drug unit, what are you thinking at this point? Um, a lot of times we don't take a lot of information from parents because there's not a lot of that we can work with. But not this time. However, I felt that I saw a few holes that I could probably fill and um, basically be creative. Rowe went to work and eventually by mid-August comes across a big clue. He talks with a confidential informant that says Tyler Huffines is the head of a drug dealing operation manufacturing THC cartridges or carts as they are called on the streets. THC is the chemical in marijuana that gives users the high sensation. Rowe admits it was all kind of new to him. I didn't know how to properly order these carts from drug dealers. Uh, that was a big learning curve for me. On August 20th, Rowe is tipped to photos on Snapchat, allegedly by Tyler, under the handle Wisco Bag Boy, showing photos and videos of large boxes containing THC cartridges in a garage. At what point as you're going along here are you wondering, where's this going? Where's this going to take you? I, I felt that I, I had a pretty good vision as to where this was going. But he needed more time for surveillance and a talk with informants. August 28th, Rowe learns Tyler was flying to California to buy more THC product. Tyler allegedly admitted he flew first class with $300,000 in cash. Was there a wow moment that said, wow, this is really big? Yes. When did that hit you? Um, probably the week before we executed the search warrant. By September 5th, everything is in place. The Kenosha Drug Operations Group, or KDOG, moves in with that search warrant on Tyler Huffines and his alleged family-run business at this Bristol condo location. What were you thinking when you got to Tyler? What did you find? Uh, what we found with Tyler was that he was bigger than I think anybody actually perceived him to be. The bust was a bonanza for law enforcement. 60,000 in cash, 31,000 vaping cartridges with THC, 98,000 unfilled carts, and multiple weapons. Rowe says it all adds up to a big warning for parents about the dark side of vaping. If parents are finding this stuff, they need to confront their kids, stop being their friends. And that's the big takeaway here, courageous parents coming forward and creative police, police work. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here talking about this bus, Stephen Carroll, at a time when the vaping crisis continues to unfold across the country. Wow. Very important life lesson for parents right here. Exactly. Charles, thank you very much. Counterfeit vape cartridges, of course, linked to hundreds of illnesses across the country. NBC News recently tested some of the black market products to find out what's in them that's making people so sick. The results shocked doctors. You can watch that report right now. It's at tmj4.com slash links.